let's open our first case file. Thomson Reuters, owner of Westlaw, created a valuable legal research system with human written headnotes summarizing key points of law. This represents decades of expert legal analysis summarized into their whole, into their whole system. Now, Ross Intelligence was founded by someone who had actually worked at Westlaw. He went back to Westlaw and asked them if he could license some of their content so he could train his AI. He intentionally did not want to output any of their content he wanted to use to make the AI smarter. And Westlaw, seeing him as a competitor, said no. So being the smart AI startup, and if you're an AI startup, listen up. Of course, Ross Intelligence went around to what are called third parties. These are brokers that sell data. Now, I've talked to you about this a few times, but it's really important we understand why this matters, because most of the AI infrastructure is built on purchasing data. When you buy from a third party, the third party, supposedly, will vouch for the, verify the quality of the data, will be able to stand behind you if you have any problems, and make sure that the person or business, in this case, Westlaw, is treated well and everything's good and they know what they're offering and how it goes out and they sell it. So Ross Intelligence goes there and orders 25,000 of what are called bulk memos. And in legal terms, bulk memos are basically legal arguments, pros and cons about a specific case. So with that, he buys these bulk memos with data from Westlaw that Westlaw provided to this third party. All good, nothing wrong. Now Westlaw found out about this Probably because as I looked it up, I asked like, what's a little amount a year would be like five or 10 and a lot for a big firm might be in the thousands, but it was more likely hundreds. I mean, it's impossible to say depending on the cases, but certainly 25,000 at one fell swoop is a giant order for bulk memos. Now he was using those bulk memos not to get the content or to create or steal content from Westlaw was used for AI training. As we've said, AI learning. That's how they saw it at Ross Intelligence. Thompson said these are copyrightable. Now, what's interesting is this goes to one of the key objections from AI engineers is that we can put anything in. Once it's in, we transform it into these things called tokens, and that's that. That transformation argument doesn't apply here because they knew that the content went in to Ross Intelligence. Why? Because they sell it. They can probably get the records from the third party. And if it was an order that big, they might have noticed. These are a lot of what ifs, but there's many ways to know when something goes in. Now apply that to AI because what they said was they didn't have to prove it like the New York Times creating outputs like we'll look at the next section. They didn't have to prove it like Getty showing images that we'll look at in the third section. They just had to say, here it was. They bought these bulk memos. The data was from Westlaw. That's our copyright. We don't approve of this. Please take this down and take it out of your AI. And this is the one that shook the heck out of Silicon Valley because for the first time, a judge found in favor of them. Thompson Reuters, Westlaw, won the case against the fair use defense that Ross said, and also against the defense that they bought it from a legitimate third party. I mean, of all things, that's almost like having a third party validate a good thing, bringing people together if you think buying data is a good thing. But take away what happened there. If you're an AI startup, if you're managing data and you purchase it and you think everything's fine, you're going to want to check that. The Thomson Reuters Westlaw decision is against fair use. And it's before it went in. And the fact that it went in didn't mean it couldn't get out and didn't mean that the only violation of copyright was an output. The violation was before it even went in. Now apply that to every big lawsuit you hear, especially like the New York Times and Getty that we're gonna get into in just a bit. And you start realizing the sand is shifting. Deals are being made all over the place. And these lawsuits are teaching us to follow the money trail and see where's the value.